Andy, take one. Mark. My name is Andrew Vayette, and I'm from California. The first thing that like really drew me to dancing was really just like the class and like the athleticism of it. I have three older brothers. My oldest brother and I were doing gymnastics, and my immediate older brother had started dancing um, the year before I did. I liked all the girls, and and it just looked like fun. I didn't really think about it being a performance art until. I was a couple years older. To me, ballet was a sport. I was more excited about the physical challenges of it. I haven't been to Africa, and I haven't been to South America. Um, I think Africa just seems like it would be amazing. The other place that my wife Megan likes to talk about going to is Machu Picchu. We've actually gotten the chance to travel a lot of amazing places, so I feel pretty lucky in that regard. The last trip to Tokyo and Osaka was really fun for me. Um, I got injured, but it was kind of fun because then I had you know, a little bit of time to, you know, kill and enjoy. <laughs> I got a tattoo in Japan, and it's uh, like a third of a dragon, and he'll probably come across my chest and keep wrapping down my arm. Sean, Swazi, Elmar Ramasar, and I all got in, like, together at the same time. So the first show we did was um, Sleeping Beauty, and we did Courtiers, and in the dress rehearsal, I wasn't used to like how long it was going to take to like put a costume on or get ready or anything and so we were all late. So it was scary because we, they were all waiting for us and um, kind of frustrated with us in the first rehearsal. And then uh, every show after that it was just like, you know, you felt like you had to make up for, you know, your early um, transgressions, I guess. I love to binge watch. We just watched The Borges on Showtime, if you haven't seen it. It's really good. I feel like that's everybody's thing right now is, is binge watching, you know, four hours in a row, the same thing. It's like watching, you know, a really long, detailed movie. It's kind of really hard for me to turn off, like, the Kardashians or, like, bad reality TV. You know, you're watching it and you're thinking, oh, this is, I don't want to be watching it, but then you can't turn it off either. One of the most fun experiences I've had in the company as a dancer was we get, we call it getting thrown on when somebody gets hurt and at the last minute you have to be put into a ballet for the first time. La Valse was going and I had been to one rehearsal and somebody got hurt and they called me in and had to throw me into it and I had about, I don't know how long, 15, 20 minutes with the ballet master. All of the rest of my colleagues were kind of talking me through it like phrase by phrase the entire time the ballet was happening. The hardest part about it was staying composed because we were laughing so hard at what we were actually doing because they were like, okay, you're going to wait, you know, eight more counts and then you're going to go grab Saskia and you're going to lift her in a saute, okay, go! You know, and you just ran and did, you know, what you could as fast as you could and like that for you know, a 25 minute ballet. People tell me a lot that I remind them of Dennis Leary, which I think is probably a good thing. You do remind me of I know, I don't know if I'm offended by that or not, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's not like I'm getting Brad Pitt, you know? I think theme and variations is probably the scariest um, part for me. I mean, I describe it to people that when I, dancing theme and variations feels like you're taking like a ballet final. Like how good are you really at classical ballet? No matter how many times I do it, I will always be severely nervous before I start it. I'm always in such awe of the depth of talent that is in this company. When I was promoted to principal, Peter said, you know, I'm going to promote you, but there's a but. And, you know, kind of went on to just really make the point to me that making principal doesn't mean you're done. I felt this, like, you know, huge obligation that okay, and it's now my responsibility now to be one of these great artists that I used to look up to. I think when you're on your way, it doesn't feel like that's necessarily falling directly on your shoulders, but once you're there and you have the rank, you know, you go, oh, I don't know how much I really wanted this after all, because, you know, now I have to prove, you have to prove it every time. My name is Andrew Vayette, and I'm a principal dancer with the New York City Ballet.